Hebrew. And Reggie Jackson. The Yankees think they have another candidate. A man by the name of Steve Balboni, who plays for the Yankee Double-A Farm Club in Nashville, Tennessee. In less than half a season, he's hit 24 home runs and 72 RBIs. And a lot of people say he can't miss. Have you seen anyone hit the ball as hard or as far as you have? I think I've hit a, I've hit a few that I don't I, that I've never seen anybody else hit as far. You know, I've seen guys hit some long long home runs though. You know that that are better than most of mine. You know, but I think I've hit a few that I haven't seen anybody hit as far. You've been heralded as Bye Bye Balbo. Do you like that nickname? When I first got here, that's all. I mean, no one, I don't think anybody knew my name was Steve. It was just, <laughs> it was just Bye Bye. And, well, I found out that it works. Bye Bye sounds good when I strike out. <laughs> wow, and, uh, okay. You know, and I do a lot of that, so. Do all those strikeouts, Bobby? They did last year, and I've been striking a lot this year, but my average has improved a lot, so I'm not really worried about it. I think the biggest thing is with guys on base. I don't like striking out with guys on base, especially in scoring position. What would you rather have, a high batting average or a lot of home runs? Home runs. The batting average, I like it as high as I can, but I wouldn't give up the home runs for my average. I wouldn't change anything, you know, to bring my average up. And I think that's, I think that's, you know, why I get drafted. That's why I'm playing here is because I, I can hit home runs. I can hit for power and, and RBIs. You're from New England. That's Red Sox country. How did you feel about the Yankees? Well, when I was growing up, I was I was a Red Sox fan, and I hated the Yankees. You know, but ever since I signed with them, you know, it's changed. Now, it, now I'm a Yankee fan and I hate the Red Sox. <laughs> Yankee Stadium was made for left-handers, and you're a right-hander. Are you going to have problems? Well, uh, Yankee Stadium really, it's big, but it really uh, it doesn't really scare me. I think. You know, it's not the best place for a right-handed power hitter, but I, I don't think you play you play half your games there, half your games on the road. And I think I think if I if I hit the ball well, it'll go out of it'll go out of Yankee Stadium and go out of anywhere. What do you think about the big boss, George Steinbrenner? As far as you know, the minor leagues go, he's treated us really well. He's I think all the organizations I've played in, you know, from the, from A ball to here have been great that, you know, I can't really complain. I think it's a real class organization. What is your biggest asset? When I feel comfortable at the plate and really confident, I, I hit the best. I think when I start worrying about, you know, different things, when, I, when I'm not sure what I'm doing at the plate, when I'm not really sure that I'm swinging good, then I start worrying about things and, I, and then I really start messing up. <laughs> Are you going to be disappointed if you don't start 1981 as a New York Yankee? No, not, not really. I, mean, I'd, I wouldn't mind starting a season, you know, in, in AAA or even playing the whole season in AAA, you know. It's just as long, as long as I'm moving up and, you know, I feel like I'm improving and, you know, getting, getting more experience. As long as you're doing good in the minor leagues, it, you're going to make it to the big leagues. You know, it might not be with the Yankees. It might be with another team, but, you know, it, I don't think you can put the blame on, on the Yankees for not bringing you up. I think you just got to stay in there. And as long as you continue to do well, sooner or later you're going to make it.